hört sich ja alles schön und gut an, aber... What? What is this? Angela? Hey! I, I, I'm here, do you hear me? Oh, finally! It's so good to hear your voice! Where am I? Is this the first prototype of Arcadia? Yeah, this was what Walton and Kovac had in mind. But then Don and the board of directors took over, and they turned Elijah's dream into this American nightmare where being unpopular is punished with death. Okay, dann war es doch von Anfang eigentlich ganz anders geplant. Das ist halt wirklich eine CD werden sollte, die eigentlich schlecht alles hatte für diese Zeit. Aber da. Ich weiß nicht, wo du diese Info hast, aber niemand hat in hier getötet. Was sprichst du über? Gus ist nicht tot. Vivian showed him to me. But, but I saw him. I... Well, what exactly did you see? Besides Gus leaving with two security guards. I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Okay, let's just focus on getting you out of here. Aber wieso konnte ich uns jetzt nicht, nicht sagen? I don't think there is a way out of here, Angela. I'm afraid I'm trapped in here. Wenn sie Gas gesehen hat, den toten Gas, wieso kann sie uns jetzt nicht sagen, was sie gesehen hat? So also wer von beiden lügt jetzt hier? Trotzdem vertraue ich eher Angela, statt dieser Miss Walton irgendwas. Remove, you mean, you mean like brainwashing me? No, 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 not at all. Well, it sounds pretty similar to what Vivian wanted to do with me, with that realignment thing. I know, I know, but we know what we're doing. Trust me. It, no offense, Angela, but considering how things went last time, it's not easy for me to just blindly trust in your plans. <gasps> And anyway, even if you magically reprogram me without leaving me brain damaged, I've already crossed the jingle area before, and it didn't work out. How am I going to get out of the dome anyway? Maybe I can help with that. Wait, who is this? Number six? Are you okay? Yes, Kovacs. I touched in a couple of minutes ago and heard your conversation. Sorry for the indiscretion, but I had to interrupt. My name is Number Six. I am the leader of Breakout, the activist group Kovacs works for. Okay, nice to meet you. Jetzt bin ich gespannt, was er uns zeigen möchte. Ja, da ist ein abandoned car there. It looks rusty now though. Arcadia is a gilded cage and we know it. Sid wanted to leave a farewell message. It is his trademark. Sid. Dann ist er schon mal nicht Sid. Yeah, 
Yeah, but they have two of those jingle emitters on each side. <laughs> that makes sense. Can I at least have some time to think about it? So, take your time. Whenever you are ready. Skates and that drip enough to think. Architects of Tomorrow, Walton Media Studios. That's the old Werkstatt. Angela? You still there? Hey, Trevor. Yeah, I'm here. I think this is the Architects of Tomorrow TV set. Yeah. The last two Architects seasons were recorded in this studio inside Old Arcadia. But nothing was the same after Walton stuff. So not even Architects. Wait, that's... That's the piano Kovacs always played at the end of every episode. Bitte sag, dass wir das spielen können. It's still there? It was my favorite part. That's what got me into music. You mind if I... No, no, go ahead. Nobody can hear you here. I still have to give it a name. Wait, you wrote this? It, it's yours? Yeah, it's mine. I didn't know you were so talented, Trevor. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional musician? No, I like to keep that to myself. You know, maybe my life wasn't good American Arcadia material, but it was quiet and peaceful. I know I'm not the most interesting guy on the planet, but I've never hurt anyone. And I don't deserve all the crap that I'm going through. I know, Trevor. And for what it's worth, I have to say that you may not be the most interesting guy on the planet, but you're a good person. And I like you. And I'm sure a quiet and peaceful life is waiting for you out there. Maybe you'll have to chuck that grandpa get up and throw out something a little bit more up to date, but other than that, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do this. We will be extremely careful, I swear it. 
Yeah, 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 sure. Just do it before I change my mind. At that moment, I realized how fond I had grown of that old fuddy-duddy mustache-wearing average show. I wasn't doing this because of the Walton Media breakout war anymore. I just wanted to get my friend out of that city once and for all. That was really moving, Kovacs. Thank you. It was critical to convince such a valuable asset like Trevor. Uh, I haven't said anything to convince him. I just said what I feel. And please, don't call him an asset. Trevor's not an asset, okay? I understand. I apologize. It's all right. What do we do now? You must get inside the realignment area and find any relevant information that allows us to comprehend how the jingle works. Endlich darf ich auch mal was sagen. Das war gerade wirklich ein schöner Moment. Mal wirklich entspannen. Diese schöne Musik zu hören. Die sogar Trevor selbst geschrieben hat. Was unglaublich ist. Ich fand es mega gut. Mal wirklich schön. So ein wholesome Moment. Nach langer Zeit mal in diesem Spiel. Realignment. Hinweise finden, die uns irgendwie helfen können. I really hope your plan works, number six. Still not 100% convinced. Remember, we are at this point thanks to your courage and boldness. You got us to the hexagon. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> Hey, what is this? The four steps of the realignment jingle? To not have any interest in anything other than living a happy life in Arcadia. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Uh, don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interested. Uh, celebrities, athletes, musicians. But always local celebrities, local athletes and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity and an irrational impulse or just plain and simple stupidity, will do something that might bring them close to the dome's edge. We are saving an ace up our sleeve for that situation. Any violation of the Burbank Act will result in the absolute suppression of all means of self-control of that particular individual. Hmm? That feeling of well-being will turn into almost complete incapacitation. If that measure isn't enough, they must perceive the outside world as a hostile, harsh, and unwelcoming environment, even threatening. To keep citizens from wanting to leave, we will have to reinforce each and every one of their fears. Arcadia means safety. The world outside means danger. But we have to give them the illusion of freedom. Otherwise, we will face another breakout. And the only way to achieve this requires a complete distortion in their perception of freedom. They will not long for it, because Arcadia will be the only place where they can feel really free. Four Steps of the Realignment Jingle. 1. 4. 1992. To ensure that our citizens never leave, we need them to not have any interest in anything other than living a happy life in Arcadia. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Jesus. Don't get me wrong. Our this shit is Orwellian and disgusting. Mm. Donald Walton was a really sick man. Desto mehr man hier erfährt, desto grausamer wird hier alles. Ich muss sagen, diese Ansprache 
von diesem Mr. Walton, ich weiß gerade nicht den Vornamen, erinnert mich ein bisschen an den Doktor von Outlast, ehrlich gesagt. Der war ja auch irgendwie so ein bisschen äh, bei mir ist alles safe, ihr könnt mir vertrauen. So, naja. Ich weiß nicht, was das Panel macht. Es ist Hexagon-Level. Do not activate it. It is not safe to take any unnecessary risks, Kovacs. Why? I still wonder what this might be for. We should focus on finding useful information to help Trevor instead. That's There must be a reason why this is here, right? We do not know what that panel does, Kovacs. Leave it alone. Ah, uh, I have to activate it, number six. No. Doch, ich muss. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Damn it, Angela. I told you not to mess with that. Ay, Dios bendito. They're breeding babies in here, number six. What? Oh, sons of bitches. They feed them that realignment jingle shit when they're born. It's like a clockwork orange, but with babies. This is terrible. It is inhumane. Those monsters. Apropos, es wird immer schlimmer. Ähm, what the fuck is happening here? Ich habe echt nicht gedacht, dass das Spiel so schrecklich wird. Das ist einfach nur krank. Äh... Junge, Junge.